Diane and Derek here. Give me a D. Give me an. Give me all the letters. Quick check in with you today to show you what I have been decluttering since last week. My husband and I are now empty nesters, so I'm going to be looking at things with a fresh eye. Starting off with these balloons. Now, I used these balloons when my my son graduated from high school two years ago. And if you've ever seen any of my Danish videos about Hugo and life in Denmark, you know that Danish high school graduation is a huge thing here. And these spelled out a uh, student. I've got two sets of them. And we used them again this year for my daughter when she graduated from high school. And we aren't going to be using them again. So what I'm doing is I'm putting them all in a bag. And I've asked my bestie, Vibika, She's going to take them, she's going to keep them until her daughter uh, graduates and then she'll pass it on to the, the next door neighbours. And you know, you could kind of deflate them, but she's got space to have them in her, in her basement. And if you find that any of them have kind of lost their, their, their puff from, from when you use them for your next party, you can inflate them just by sticking in a little straw and, and blowing them up again. Maybe you have... Halloween decorations, Christmas decorations, any kind of uh, decor that you've been using for parties. If you're not going to be using it again soon, please pass it on to somebody else who will. Now, when I declutter, I don't normally leave things lying on the dining room table, but this was just to gather them together so I could kind of talk you through what we have found. Usually what I do is when, when I've got an item that is that we're decluttering, it will either go in the donation box or I've got a bag in the bottom of my wardrobe that I keep for things for our next swap parties. We actually had a lot of clothes. This is just a couple of items here. My daughter moved out into her own apartment. She's gone through her clothing. She found stuff that didn't fit any longer or that it didn't fit her style. I have some also old jackets that was never wearing. A few items that my daughter had made when she was at school. And we were laughing about this one the other day because it was meant to be a dog. It didn't really work out. So that, that is just going uh, in the bin. <laughs> and we were having a good laugh about it the other day. And she said, Mum, why have you been holding her on to it? And I said, well, you know what mums are like. But the other thing that she didn't want to take to her flat was something that she had made in woodwork, gosh, years and years ago. And I had it in the kitchen. I've actually brought that out again. So you may have noticed it in my video uh, the other day. That is now pride of place in the kitchen. And it's just something <laughs> she cut out in woodwork. But... It's just a, a, a nice memory of her. So, so that is back in the kitchen. We were going through my dressing up uh, box because my daughter is away on her freshers week trip and she needed some stuff for her the theme of her party. So we've gone through the dressing up box and all these kind of junk jewellery things, um, we're, we're not going to be using those again, including some 1980s bangles. Also found some black flowers which can be used in your hair or which are brooches. Here we are, one here. Uh, my daughter took some of them. My daughter is type four in Dressing Your Truth. I am a type one in Dressing Your Truth. I'm never going to wear these. Bestie Vibika will love these because she always wears uh, things in her hair or brooches. So I'll ask her about those. Perfume that nobody's using. Also from our summer house, we have a summer house in Sweden and Hubby and I were there at the weekend. I went through some of the kind of extra fleeces and scarves that we've got. Those are going as well. A lot of DVDs that had somehow ended up at the summer house and that we're never going to watch. And then we have some kitchen items. Now these were bowls that we used to use when we had a set with plates. My son took the plates uh, and I've never really been keen on those bowls. So those are going either to my son or my daughter, all the kind of kitchen stuff and all these things, of course, ask them first. And then if they don't want them, then they go on to the swap parties or they go to the charity shop. It belongs to my daughter. I'm not sure if she'll want to have it for her flat. Some extra kitchen utensils. Maybe the kids want those. From downstairs, I found some things. This was from our craft box. Those are going. And then the final thing that we thought about this week are... All the Wii games, the Wii Fit board. Uh, we're going to check with the kids because I think the, the kids are deciding which of uh, which of them wants to hold on to. And we've always kept 
the games, it's just to show you which games we had. Uh, we've always kept the games in a cupboard in the living room and all the controllers, we had kept those together in a basket. I like to kind of keep them contained. So next time the kids are here, they will go through what they want to keep. And if there's anything that they don't want, that will also go to, um, to charity or to our next swap party. I hope that'll give you a wee bit of inspiration to get on with your decluttering today. What can you declutter here and now? Whether you are like us, empty nesters, perhaps you're moving to a new house, maybe you're going to your first college dormitory. Um, I, for one, I'm going to be really pleased to, to get this bagged up and get it out of my place and hand it on to somebody who will use it and love it. So anyway, live long and prosper. The Danish hygge be with, be with you. And I'll see you on the other side with a ra, ra, ra.